Cecile Blicker, the director for the Division of Children and Family Services. Okay, would you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Blicker. Folks, I thank you for coming today. Ms. Blicker, we know that we have to be very careful in the things that are said here today in cases that are ongoing and how we ask those questions to get an answer. Of the cases that have already been settled at the table today, can you tell me how many of those grandparents had charges filed against them for some type of abuse or what reason that those parents could not be considered for adopting their own family and loved ones? Yeah, I can't answer specifically about these three cases, but I can tell you that there is a lot of consideration that has that goes into the decisions about placement with relatives. There are times when perhaps relatives knew about, and I'm not saying that that's the case, I'm just talking in generality, so let me please clarify that, that there are times when there are family members who knew about and allow the abuse and neglect to occur of family members. So the judge, the staff, the attorney ad litem will look at that as well. Um, there is, you know, we have to defer to some of the family members, the, the bio families to tell us what family members they would like for us to look at. Sometimes we find that there are family issues that are going on. <laughs> Uh, there's a whole host of, you know, how were grandparents participating in the court hearing? Did they just come at the last minute? You know, so how active were grandparents in those court proceedings from day one? Uh, there's just, it's hard to, I know everybody wants a black and white answer, but there is no black and white answer. Every case is complex. There's all the different issues, you know, all three of their issues are very different. Their family structure is different, the support systems are different, and the cases are different. So I don't have just a black and white answer for you that you're looking for. And as far as were there any charges, I, I don't know the answer to that. May I finish my line of questioning, Senator? Yes, Senator Smith, Colin Smith. I'd like to ask each of you just yes or no, were charges ever filed against you? You don't have to tell me what they are, but did DHS ever file some type of charge or complaint against you specifically that would interfere with you adopting your child? Absolutely not. Ma'am? No. Absolutely not. Okay, so that answers the question with these folks here. Do you remember a while back I made a phone call to you and we had a very pointed conversation about a circumstance that was just very discouraging when a family asked to be guardians of their grandchild. You advised, meaning DHS, you advised, no, don't do that, be foster parents. They wanted to go ahead and be the guardians of that family and they were told by DHS, be foster parents. Against their will, they became foster parents. They, you guys didn't want to then give them the children, the little grandchild. Now this is a family that wants to love and take care of the child. So this family goes to court. This family says, we should be the, the people that take care of this child. Your recommendation to the judge is no, don't put them in the home. The judge says they will go to the home. On a Friday morning about 6.30 in the morning, they were taken from that home. That case is ongoing, so I can't say more about that, but I am telling you that had those parents been able to and had not listened to DHS, the grandparents would be loving that child today, would have it in their arms, would be caring for that child, and as guardians, they decide who gets to come around the child. The parents, or the grandparents rather, were not abusers. They've never had fight charges filed. so. I want to talk about the judges in the Senator case. Senator Colin Smith, yes. excuse me, just a moment. It has nothing to do with you. I want to remind everyone that this is a legislative committee hearing. Uh, the Capitol Police will be down here in a minute. 
Uh, we will conduct ourselves as we would ex expect to be conducted in a legislative committee hearing where you will be removed. Uh, we have set the agenda. We have the people that are on the agenda. We will hear from them, uh, and we will keep things in order. Sorry to interrupt, Central. Thank you, 